Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check details about Docker container and how we can download and install Docker on Windows step by step. So agenda of this session is like uh, we are going to check how what is Docker, how Docker works, why we use Docker and uh, when to use Docker. Okay, so we will see like a complete user guide to download and install Docker on Windows. Then we will see like a WSL2 download and install for Windows. So WSL2 is like a Windows subsystem for Linux that is required to install the Docker. Then we will see how to start the Docker and how to run the sample image from the Docker. So basically what is Docker? So Docker is a software platform that allows you to build, test and deploy the application quickly. So Docker packages the software into standardized units called as a Docker containers that have everything the software needs to run including libraries system tools code and the runtime okay so using docker you can quickly deploy and scale your applications into the different environments and uh, and you will know where your code will be running on which environment so how docker works so docker works by providing the standard way to run your code so docker is operating system for container uh, similar to how virtual machine virtualizes so docker works by providing the standard way to run your code so docker is operating system for containers similar to virtual machine that virtualizes so docker works by providing the standard way to run your code uh, docker is operating system for containers similar to how virtual machine virtualizes server hardware or containers that virtualize the operating system for the server so docker is installed on each server and providing the simple commands that you can use to build start and stop containers okay so this basically this is a this is a diagram where like uh, it represents like uh, this is the application layer we where we have applications then we have binaries and libraries then on top of uh, uh, below that we have a docker engine then we have our guest os and uh, then our virtual machine layer that is a hypervisor and then your uh, server that is a, your host physical host okay so basically why to use the docker so simply like uh, by using docker we can ship your code in a faster way and uh, we can standardize the application operations and then seamlessly move our code and save money by improving the resource utilization with the docker you can get the sin single object we can reliably run anywhere so docker is a simple and straightforward syntax gives you the full control wide operation means a robust ecosystem of tools and the off to the shelf application that are ready to use the docker okay so basically the advantage like uh, it is a very easy to ship the software faster then it will standardize the operation and it it is seamlessly move into the cloud or virtualize environment so when to use docker you can use docker containers as a core building block of creating modern application and platforms docker makes easy to build and run distributed microservices architecture so you can deploy your code with the standardized continuous integration and delivery pipelines that is a ci cd platform then you can build the highly scalable data processing system and create the fully managed application platform for your development so basically docker is a managed containerized platform uh, that can be used to create the fully managed uh, platform in order for the developers in order to uh, like develop build deploy your application so like we can use the docker in multiple ways like one is one of the ways is the microservices we can uh, build and scale distributed application architecture by taking adv advantage of standard code deployments by using docker container then we can use the continuous integrity and delivery that accelerate the application by delivering the standard environments and removing conflicts between the language stack and versions okay so we can use docker for data processing so for the big data processing as a service and a package data analytics to package the data and analytics packages into portable containers that can be executed by non-technical users then we can use container as a service where we can build and ship the distributed applications with the content and infrastructure that IT managed and secure. So if you want to put uh, Docker in the more simplified way as a development area, so like we can divide this Docker workflow into the four blocks. So one is like uh, we can write the code, then we can build the container image, 
then we can push that image into server either directory or via registry and then start the application with the new image so this is the simplified diagram like uh, how we can use docker so the, the docker can be used by developers and uh, devops like uh, developers can build the application source code and uh, with the development environment they have and then uh, they need to ship that uh, applications to particular containers by creating the images they can create the packages of their applications and they can store that packages into particular images and they can provide it to container for deploy manage and scale the application into cloud or virtual environment so now let's start with the installation of docker into windows system so for that uh, go to browser and type docker installation on windows okay so click on the first link so we landed into the docker desktop for windows so before that before moving further so we will see the system requirements for the docker so your windows system must meet must meet the following requirements in order to successfully install the docker so there are two tabs uh, for this like one is a wsl2 backend and one is a hyper v uh, windows container platform so wsl is like a windows subsystem for linux and uh, this is the hyper v backend for windows container like uh, hyper v means it is a more related to virtualization part where uh, like uh, we can use the windows system as a particular uh, uh, hold the os package in order to deploy our application via docker platform okay so for windows 10 and 11 home the system requirements in the wsl2 backend tab so basically we are going to follow this wsl2 backend that is a windows subsystem for linux uh, for this like uh, there is a system requirement where we need the windows 10 64 bit home or pro version with the build 19043 or higher so how to check that so just go to your windows and type the system okay so you will see this uh, system information tab so click on this so here it is telling that uh, what is the os name that is a microsoft windows 10 pro and version is uh, like a 10.0 19044 okay so we have higher than this this build number 19043 so we have 19044 or into enterprise education uh, build number 19042 or higher okay so it is telling enable the wsl2 feature on windows so for this this we are going to check further then following the hardware uh, re prerequisite that is a 64 bit processor so your windows system should be 64 bit 4 gb at least 4 gb of ram bios level hardware virtualization so bios level hardware virtualization means so this can be seen via go to uh, task manager and uh, you can see <coughs> go to performance tab and you can see this virtualization this so this virtualization should be enabled so this is the requirement on windows so basically this docker work, work on the virtualization system so that's why it, it, this need to be enabled then download and install linux kernel upgrade package so this is required for this uh, wsl2 so that we we are going to check further yeah so this is the system requirement so let's go and download this uh, docker desktop for windows so click on this so it is started downloading the docker desktop for windows so we have already uh, downloaded it so let's say cancel and uh, we have this docker desktop installer.exe so in order to install this just double click on this okay so it is saying so there is a dialog box came for installing docker desktop 4.14.0 version uh, in the configuration it is saying that use wls2 instead of hyper v so this is the recommended that we we need to use a windows subsystem for linux then add desktop shortcut say okay so it is started unpacking the files and installing the docker so our installation is succeeded so docker desktop 4.14.0 is installed so let's say close and let's start our docker desktop say double click on this okay so let's say accept on this terms and condition
okay so now here here comes wsl2 installation warning so as i mentioned into the agenda so we have uh, wsl we need to download wsl2 and install for windows so why is it required so this is the like a windows subsystem for linux so in the installation steps like it is mentioned that uh, we need to install this wsl2 enable wsl2 feature on windows and that, that is the prerequisite we need to install this wsl2 windows subsystem for linux in order to work with docker and we have to restart also please restart after installing the linux kernel so go to this so here wsl2 linux update for 64 bit machines so click on this yeah, so this is downloaded so just double click on this okay so this is the subsystem for linux update setup so just we have to click the next okay so completed the windows subsystem for linux setup wizard let's say finish and in order to like complete this installation we just need to restart our machine so i'm going to restart this machine okay so our machine is restarted so now just relaunch the docker desktop so our docker desktop is starting okay so our docker desktop is started so it is saying I run the sample container commands so you can see like uh, this is the docker desktop is running so bottom taskbar so we, we are we are getting this uh, option to see the different options available for this docker desktop so we have this uh, pause restart quit docker desktop then we have documentation then we have option to connect the docker hub then download the updates and dashboard and switch to windows container and about the docker desktop so these options are available here so basically if you want to verify if your docker is installed then go to windows r and then type cmd and type docker minus minus version yeah you can see docker version 20.10.21 build this is installed on our windows system so let's run our uh, first uh, docker image so as per agenda so we have completed with five steps till uh, starting docker then we have to run the sample image okay so there is a default inbuilt image called as a hello hyphen docker so we, were, we are going to run the same okay so docker space run hello docker okay so so we oh so we got the hello from docker so if you see this docker run hello world so instead of hello docker we have the hello world that is existing sample docker so unable to find the image so that image was locally not exist so it is trying to pull this from the library so pull is complete and let's say hello from uh, we can see hello from docker yeah so like this way like we are able to start the docker and we are able to run the sample image that is a hello world okay we got the hello from docker also okay so to generate this docker so this docker took following steps like this is contacted to docker daemon process then it is a pulled hello world image and then it is a create a new container and domain, uh, docker daemon uh, stream that output to docker client so this way we can able to download and install docker on windows and we can able to run our sample image from docker so in docker desktop let's verify a, how this image getting created so in the container so it is automatically created this elastic gold vessel and uh, like it is created this image hello world colon latest okay so go to images so you can see hello world is there so let's see the logs go to inspect
okay so you can see uh, we tried to run the uh, docker so we got the hello from the docker so that is a hello world program and same output uh, we got here so that we able to see here so here also like uh, we can see this uh, hello world image and this container like i have run this two times because one i have run from the here and when i have run from this docker desktop okay so go to volumes or go to image and here these are my local images so if you go to the remote repository so you can log into your uh, docker hub and uh, you can fetch your images from the docker hub also so in my docker hub currently these three are uh, available docker images that is view in hub so uh, you can view into the docker hub also so this way we can visualize our images into the docker desktop okay so stay tuned for uh, further uh, sessions on docker so like uh, we are going to check how we can develop the application by using spring boot and push that spring boot application into docker and then we are going to check docker registry and further docker sessions so stay tuned and thanks a lot for watching